But first, tonight at 6 News 3 learns more about the man who triggered the search recently for Georgia Weckler. And good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. Investigators say an 82-year-old Edgerton man led them to the vacant lot where he believed the missing girl might be buried. After an exhaustive search, no remains were ever found and the trail for clues went cold again. Rock County reporter Margot Spann has more on why that tipster finally came forward. Margot? That's right, Eric. I just talked to him just a few minutes ago. Now, he declined to go on camera, but he tells me that he has nothing to hide, and he was happy to actually be able to try to do something to help. He was also pleased that the sheriff's office took his tip seriously, seriously enough to dig. He has had this uh, information for most of his life. Uh, he doesn't want to, to die not knowing that it wasn't followed up on. A desire to help motivated Norman Weitzel to contact the Rock County Sheriff's Office last month. He didn't want a future development in the area to bury any chance of finding clues as to what happened to eight-year-old Georgia Reckler back in 1947. He told them he and a friend were picking berries in the area back then when they discovered what they believed to be a grave. He didn't see what was put in it, um, had no idea what was put in it uh, according to our interviews with him and our detectives believe he was being, you know, he was very forthcoming. Canines came to the scene and detected the scent of human remains, adding credibility to his 66-year-old story. For one week, all eyes were on Wright and Rotomer Rhodes. Weitzel even came to the scene to help, but the dig was unsuccessful. His belief is something's still there, um, that we possibly didn't dig in the right area. Investigators say Weitzel told them he had come forward in the past, but they couldn't find a record of it. Captain Christensen says Weitzel is not a suspect. He believes this case will continue to haunt him. I'm not sure if he will be totally satisfied in his own mind that she's not there. Now, unfortunately, the friend that was picking berries with Weitzel back in 1988, he died actually in 1988, so they're unable to talk to him. And for now, the Rock County Sheriff's Office is going to turn this case back over to Jefferson County. Well, hopefully there will be some sort of closure at yeah. some point in time. Thanks, Margo.